Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you in Framer how to correctly handle dark mode and light mode with the color variables in Framer. Let's go. And here we are inside Framer. So for this video, I'm going super fast and I'm going to uh, just drop some stuff from uh, the pages. So I insert basically a page that I have here and I'm going to select something that, yeah, I like, for example, yeah. Let's do this sort of, uh, you know, uh, landing page for a photographer, um, video videographer. This is amazing how fast actually with Framer you can just with one click, you know, start to design something. So, and I have already my breakpoints from desktop to tablet and phone already set it up. It's amazing. First thing that I want to do is just to tweak a little bit the uh, design and after uh, I want to go straight to uh, how to create these variables for dark and light mode. So first thing, uh, I'm going to select actually all the pictures holding shift uh, and I want to uh, delete the radius and put it to back to zero. After I'm going to select each rows here and I want to uh, delete the gap, put back to zero again. And now I go to the layers, I select the rows, which is the main container of this, these rows and I uh, change the gap back to zero. So I can see that it is something that is misaligned here. I don't know why uh, this templates from Framer is like that. But anyway, so I select back all the images and I uh, set the height here to uh, fill container. Okay, so that everything is perfectly aligned, I would say. That's great. Now, uh, let's go back uh, to the colors and how to create these variables. So we have a style here as uh, for the background, which is white, right? And actually it's not really a style because it's just a color, but let's create a style. But I don't want it uh, really uh, white. So I want something like more on the yellowish thing. Yeah, let's, let's say like this, FFFBF0. I add this as a new variable, a color value variable, right? So, and this I say it's the main background. As we can see here in this panel that appears, we have a light mode and a dark mode. So one suggestion from my point of view is also to add not only the tooltips, but maybe just put, you know, light and dark inside just written. I think it's even faster to understand. But anyway, so in light mode, we have this color. For the dark mode, I want the background to be actually a really dark gray. Let's say I want, yeah, 171717 and hit create. So as you can see now, all the design, the background switched directly to dark mode. Why this? Because actually, Framer now it's in dark mode. So if I switch back now to light mode, utilizing this uh, uh, this uh, icon, which changes the themes basically from light to dark. So now in dark mode, we know that this color doesn't doesn't fit. In light mode, it's okay. So and let's create basically a new style, which I call it text. Sorry, text for uh, the light mode. How this should be in dark mode? Well, just switch on dark mode, switch this toggle again to dark mode, and let's pick this yellow because I want that the color of the text when I'm on dark mode will be exactly the same yellow as this background. So let's create it. And now if I switch from light mode to dark mode, voila. I want to uh, change some uh, fill here with unsplash uh, images and I put some random picture, right? Because I think it's much better to see um, uh, this kind of layout with some uh, nice, cool pictures. So now uh, let's get a little bit more 
crazy, right? So let's also start to utilize this technique on other stuff. Like for example, I want to select another section here and let's take these cards. Actually, I will um, just work on one single card. So let's um, take the card here, one card. Let's uh, do this and delete the rest. So I will put back this card into my layout and I switch to light mode. So let's change again some little details like this and the radius here I put 0, 0 so that everything is squared exactly as the images, right? So uh, let's change here again with a random picture for, from a splash. That's great. So what we can see here is that the card has a shadow. A shadow which obviously if I switch on dark mode, basically it's invisible. So we cannot see this shadow, but let's say that I want this shadow to be, to be uh, visible, right? So actually on dark, uh, on light mode, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, so I can keep it. But unfortunately, we cannot create styles uh, for uh, dark and light when we utilize a realistic shadow. So let's create a new simple shadow with a blur of 16 pixels here. We put back zero color here. It's, uh, let's say, 16%, a little bit lighter. And here the blue room, we can put even 24, right? Okay, so now I have this shadow, I have this color, and I cr can create obviously a style for it. So let's say that this is the um, card shadow, okay? And this is for the light mode. Let's say that for the dark mode, I want this either to be even darker, or I can say I want something uh, like, uh, I don't know, a white or a yellow things, right? Let, let's say that I want this, uh, sort of yellow things, really light again, and something like this, let's say. Anyway, here, as you can see, we have always the same opacity, but you can also change opacity. And let's create. So now what happens is that if I change from light mode to dark mode, so the back, uh, as you can see, the shadow becomes light. And let's go even deeper. So let's put actually those two, title and description, should have the same color as the text, which is okay. So in this context, the text is black. And if I switch to dark mode, now it changes to the light yellow, right? Which is this one. So now let's select the card. And I love actually this uh, white on light mode. So let's create again another style. So here is card BG, which will stay uh, white. And in dark mode, I want that the color of the background should be even darker, right? So I switch here to dark mode right and i take the picker i take this uh dark you know uh background and i do it even darker right and when we hit create we will see that this change right because we created this body bolts so now as you can see if i switch from light to dark as you can see everything changes accordingly. Isn't it that amazing, this stuff, guys? It's uh, really super cool. So this is what you need to know and to master actually all the variables for dark and light mode. So remember, now dark uh, and light mode can be switched only from the settings. What it means is that depending on the user settings for the device, which, uh, which might be the, the Mac or the, your phone, they will see the different color theme, dark or light. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see you in the next one. Bye.